Hello, I noticed in your video on how to get faster at the F2L that you did a slightly longer algorithm than you needed to. Um, what you did was you had your first pair set up like this, 2x2x1, uh, two by two by first corner edge pair, after you solved the cross. Uh, I don't think it was the same colors, but whatever. You took it out, you put it in the top layer, and then you put it down here, which is right next to where it goes. However, I have a much faster way. Um, if you have corner edge pair set up like this, where if you rotate the front of the cube twice, it'll be in the correct location relative to the centers, but the cross will move. The best way to solve that is to rotate the front twice, put it in place, rotate that out of the way so when you put the cross back, and then bring this back up, they pair up. Now uh, I was making mistakes because uh, it's hard to see from this angle. But, um, yeah. That is basically all I wanted to say. Just make sure you don't do it when you have another, when you have a corner edge pair already in there that will get messed up if you do so. Otherwise, you'll just be setting yourself back. It what works best if you do it on the first the first placement, but um, you can do it anytime as long as you are very careful with your edge pairs. Uh, another thing I wanted to say is I notice a lot of people. Uh, I'm gonna mess up this algorithm. Oh dang it! Um, I notice a lot of people place corner edge pairs by moving the sl slot up that they go into and then putting them in. However, there's also another way you can do it. Sometimes it's faster. Uh, I'm just going to form the cross here. I'm not the fastest at it. I'm going to be I'm preparing for a competition April 26th. It's March 31st. And right now, and I need any tips for learning the 50 algorithms that I need to learn for... Uh, I have a few PLLs left and most of the OLLs. I'm making flashcards, but let's see how that works. Okay, uh... So let's see here, I got the cross, it's all matched up with the edges, I'm going to do a pl edge pairing here, okay, here's the example, you can do this with any edge pair, um, corner edge pair, you have it right here, location, back here, oh sorry, location right here red, green, white. Um, what most people will do is they will move it aside, bring this up, back, and down. However, you can do that differently. You can put this in place, so you got the 2x2x1, two by two by move it out of the way, bring that back up, back in. So instead of, uh, if it's above the spot, instead of going U, R, U, I, R, I, you can simply go R, I, this is when it needs to go counterclockwise into the slot. Um, R, I, F, R, F, I, so it looks like this, from... Rather than, I know that's faster, but sometimes if you just have it above the slot and you just want to do a quick flick in, you can do that. Um, so that's my pointer. I'll probably post a video here pretty soon about how I think about the F2L as I go through it, even though I'm not exactly the best at that and I need pointers. My Q4U order should be coming in next week and getting like five DIYs. Okay, here's another case goes down here. I could place it the normal way, but I can also just do a double finger trick. Now I got this OLL here.
at Switcher. I'm just blabbering right now. Um, I like Pacific Video breaking in the cube. Alright, uh... Yeah, that should be it for right now. I'll post a video pretty shortly here about my F2L intuitive. So if you have any advice for learning the algorithms that I need to learn for the competition, please uh, drop me a line. Thank you.